Hi guys, it is me, Chazer HD, and welcome to the first video back, I guess, on my channel after. Of course, I've got the channel back after it was terminated, as I'm sure most of you know. Um, and what this video is going to talk about is, well, two things. First off is why it got terminated and how I got it back. And then I'm going to get into something quite depressing, um, and it is my current mental health problems and why at least for some time i won't be coming back to making videos because yeah things are not good in that area but first we'll get into why the channel went down and how i got it back so i did of course the first preseason test i did the first three days you know streaming for certain sessions of testing and then the day before the second test was supposed to start. My channel was terminated for a trademark complaint or violation. Now, I will admit I was in the wrong because I did have the F1 logo in my logo and I do apologize for that. But again, I'm not innocent in this, but I don't think the person or the, you know, the company, we all know who the company is, who complained about, you know, me violating the trademark, they weren't totally innocent either because even though, yeah, I did break that rule, I should have received a warning, a cease and desist type warning to say, hey, you're using our logo and your logo, please take it down within a certain amount of time. And, you know, if you don't, then we'll do this. That's what I should have got. And I actually got, I guess, the warning after my channel was terminated, which is, I'm sorry, is incorrect. I should have received a warning before um, termination. I should have received that. And again, I'm not in the right, but, you know, I think this could have been done in a better way it didn't have to you know end in my channel being completely terminated from youtube but then you know once the channel got terminated i then um you know was trying to get it back i was contacting people at fom and after some discussions and agreements about you know what to do and what not to do eventually my channel has come back i have had to get rid of my logo for obvious reasons um and all my videos are gone because obviously the channel was terminated and yeah that's the reason the videos are gone i've actually looked the reason the videos are gone is because the channel was terminated and there is well no chance of me getting those videos back and to be honest there's no point in me re-uploading certain videos or trying to get them all back because none of them really at the moment are relevant anymore so yeah, that's why there's no videos on the channel. But the reason I got the channel back was, again, because I, you know, was in discussions with people at FOM. And I, um, you know, I agreed to certain things. And that's how the channel eventually came back. And it came back, what, a, a couple days, I think, before the Australian Grand Prix was supposed to start. So that's when it came back. And uh, I guess the only positive thing is that I still have almost 10,000 subscribers. So if I do come back to this soon enough, then, you know, I'm not starting from scratch like I had to, you know, almost two years ago. But um, even though I've got the channel back, there's two reasons why I'm not going to be coming back to it really straight away or for quite a bit of time uh the first reason which is kind of brief is because of course the coronavirus pandemic whatever you want to call it has you know um destroyed so far the f1 season for 2020 we have no australian grand prix obviously that would have happened already uh, the bahrain grand prix was supposed to be this weekend that's cancelled vietnam's cancelled uh, china's cancelled zandvoort and spain are probably going to be cancelled um, and, well, FOM, or Liberty Media, are hoping that the first Grand Prix will be in Monaco. I don't see the, how that's going to happen. I think the re most realistic possibility or option is that the first race, if they don't move, or the, say, the start of the season, if they don't reschedule it completely, I think the first race is probably going to be in 
uh, Baku on the, I think, 7th of June or 8th of June. I think that's probably likely to be the first Grand Prix. So even if I was keen to come back to this, there is nothing to fucking talk about for, what, three months? So even if I wanted to come back to this, you know, desperately right now, there's nothing to talk about whatsoever. But the other, and I guess the majority of the reason why I'm not going to be coming back to this you know, very soon, is because, and this is hard for me to talk about, but I have had very bad mental health problems or troubles in the last few months, even during the latter part of 2019 and going into 2020, forgetting, you know, the coronavirus, wiping out the calendar and all that. I have had behind the scenes in my real life mental health problems that have meant that my video schedule on my channel, for example, has not been able to be as consistent or as good as it maybe was when I was happier. And it's led to me, you know, for example, when I took a break during the car reveal period, um, that was kind of, yeah, because I was getting frustrated with tech issues and stuff like that, but also because of my own, you know, real life, uh, again, mental health problems. And I think... I'll explain it in more detail in a moment, but I think the best way to summarize my current feelings is that at the moment, I have just completely given up on life. I, I, I'm not going to, you know, self-harm or anything like that. And I don't want to kill myself, but I do want to die. That, I think is the best way to describe my current feelings. And again, I think me saying I've given up on life is another great way of describing how I have felt, not only at this, you know, at this current point, but also in the last few months as well. But I'm sure you guys want to know how has this come about? Well, I can't explain the full story because some things have to remain private for obvious reasons, but I will reveal now in this next few minutes quite a lot as to why you know these thoughts or you know just feelings have happened so to be honest i think all of these problems started and you guys won't you know have known this before but when i was i think what 12 years old in secondary school i left secondary school quite early because of bullying and just the culture of the, the school i was going to and my problems i'm currently having can be traced back <clears throat> all the way back to there because before that school or you know that period of my life i guess i was much more confident and happy overall as a person before i started going to that school and you know that period of my life occurred Ever since then, which was about 10 years ago, I have not been the same since in a positive way. I've not been anywhere near as, I've ne you know, my confidence and happiness has never really grown at all. And yeah, that I guess that's where you can trace back all of these problems. I'm going to skip all the stuff in between because, again, it's way too long of a story and I don't want to keep you guys for absolutely fucking ages. But I think <clears throat> when it comes to the last few months... I think we should start first off by clarifying that and you guys know that Antoine Hubert's death at Spa at the uh, F2 race you know in August end of August you guys know it affected me I think you guys definitely know that but I just want to clarify that my current problems mentally have nothing to do with that Yes, during the month of September, I did feel very down because of that. But I consider myself to have recovered from that during the month of October. Because during October, for 90-95% of the time, I was happy and absolutely fine again. It was just that month um, after. And then obviously during September, the channel growth also, you know, what, and the channel is something I've been working on for so long and been working so hard on. It slowed down also, coincidentally, during that month as well. So it was a hard month. But October, you know, came around, the channel started to grow a bit more. I started to kind of move on 
emotionally from that crash. And I do consider myself, again, to have moved on from that. And I don't think that is currently causing my mental health problems. But where did this all start? So I guess, really, it started around the very end of October slash the start of November, where I wasn't, let's say, as happy as I was, say, earlier in October or maybe earlier parts of the year. And then we got to you know the channel again you have to realize the channel is something that i've been working so incredibly hard on especially this newer channel forgetting the old channel which by the way the old channel has been deleted because they <clears throat> fom uh told me to so that's why the old channel is gone and you'll never be able to see anything of it again um because you know i've been working so hard on this channel whenever i've had technical problems or internet problems or any type of problems that have really badly affected me uploading videos and growing the channel it has affected me not massively but it has affected me and i, I guess that's where it started but it was also starting to get a bit worse for me in terms of my real life as well but you know as you guys will remember during the middle of november um i had i think internet problems that affected me during the brazilian grand prix weekend now that did really you know disappoint me because i think if we didn't have that at that um <clears throat> sorry about my throat by the way but you guys already know what my throat's like that really did affect the growth of the channel because <clears throat> um we would have hit 10k i'm pretty sure of it by the end of the year if i'd carried through the momentum i'd had through october and through the u.s grand prix in early november um and if it had carried through through that race which was a you know a great race and great weekend and abu dhabi and all of that i think i would have got to 10k but that was such a big blow that it really put me on a downer when it came to what i do for a living and a hobby um for the rest of the year because my, as you guys will know, my end of year target for 2019 was 10,000 subscribers. And, you know, again, that weekend, missing that weekend because of stuff I couldn't control, really, you know, put me on a, a downer. And also, at the same time, socially, and I'd say most of my problems, you know, current uh, problems mentally have to do with stuff in real life or socially or stuff like that socially as well i was having some i don't know concerns doubts about myself and all that um and you know again november started off i guess well but didn't end well for me um mentally and then we got into december and in terms of the channel the channel did well i guess i made apparently some good videos uh, especially on ferrari and other teams and drivers um but because again i didn't hit 10k at the end of 2019 i considered 2019 to be a failure and not a success and you guys may say oh well it was a success but in my view because i didn't you know hit the target which was definitely a realistic target i considered it to be a failure um and it you know completely messed with me in terms of my targets and for 2020 for the channel and all of that stuff but i think where it really started to get bad and you have to remember during december my mental health day upon day is not massively getting worse or is noticeably bad but it is not improving day on day and it's slowly but surely getting worse during the month of december and then we come to the new year period now I'm not going to say exactly what I did around New Year. I did a a social type of thing uh, with a few friends. I, 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 you know, you guys, I think, could probably guess what it was. And I enjoyed it a lot. Um, but I don't know if this is a thing with depression. But I've had this a lot as of late where if I have a brief high... You know, if I do something that I enjoyed a lot, but it's brief, and when I say brief, I don't know, over one, two, or three days or something like that, the come down from that is 
or has been for me extraordinarily hard and i think that's because i've been so depressed for so many months that whenever i do have something or you know uh, you know do something that i enjoy or have fun it's like a break from the norm for me and it just puts me in an even worse depression than no i was in before i guess because i rarely get to experience good things or highs um in my life so yeah after new year you know the days after the come down from that and the crash back down to earth was extraordinarily bad and i felt absolutely fucking terrible day upon day day upon day every day it was getting worse and worse and worse and worse and eventually once it got to my birthday which if you guys don't know is on january the 16th so it's quite close of course to new year and the christmas period by the time i got to my birthday i felt absolutely terrible um it was the worst birthday of my entire life because of the way i felt i i could barely wake up on that day i couldn't really get out of my bed i was just that depressed at the time and i think you guys if you remember the upload schedule on the channel at the time you'll kind of see that i was not in a good way at the time because i was delaying videos at the time and saying oh this video will come out you know this time but then it wouldn't it was because of this um and yeah i just felt absolutely terrible and i think the best way to describe how i felt inside was just dead i felt absolutely dead inside dead of confidence motivation to do absolutely fucking anything and dead of everything else um oh i guess i was you know obviously i was still alive but inside in terms of my feeling and motivation and all that just completely dead and it was the worst birthday i've ever had and at the time it was the worst feeling i'd ever had in my entire life in terms of depression but it has got even worse since then so you know and it, i even at around that time period middle to end of january didn't get any better because for example if you guys don't know and i'm sure plenty out uh, plenty of people out there you know who play football will know what six aside football is i was playing you know some six aside football with my mates and it was also having an effect on that because i would try to you know go to playing it but again my confidence and motivation and just everything was so down i just couldn't bear some weeks to go and there was a week where i didn't go which i think it was actually on my birthday and the reason i didn't go was not because i was busy it was because i felt so enormously depressed and i didn't get out of my bed really all day that i just couldn't bear the thought of going outside and seeing anyone that's how bad you know i was and then the week after i did turn up to play six side football and well i had to turn up really because if i didn't turn up there wouldn't have been six players for our team so i had to turn up and in theory i should never have played because i felt so physically and mentally terrible that i was white as a ghost not even just during when i was playing that you know doing something that was supposed to be and is supposed to be an escape you know for me from other stuff i felt so bad physically and mentally that i played terribly because again i was in no physical or mental condition to play i felt as though i was again just dead inside i had no drive no nothing i again i felt absolutely white as a ghost i'd been awake for almost 24 hours i'd barely ate anything i'd had probably one hour or half an hour a uh, nap right before i played because that's how exhausted i was but i had to you know or i felt i had to play because if i didn't then that you know our team wouldn't have played that particular week that's how bad i felt around the middle of january and you'll notice again if you remember the upload schedule on my channel around that time you'll notice that videos were not coming out as frequently at that time because of this exact thing because i was so incredibly fucking depressed that i couldn't bear to even get out of my bed to even make a video never mind go outside 
at times and do stuff socially. Um, things, though, I guess slightly started to improve in terms of I wasn't feeling physically sick to my stomach in terms of you know how awful I was up in my head. Um, and things, I guess, were starting to improve. I wasn't feeling physically sick anymore. Um, and... I was maybe doing, what, a couple more or extra things socially than I would normally do, which I guess was kind of helping. And I took a break from doing videos, which I think did kind of help until I took a break during the car reveal period. Um, and then we got to, <clears throat> what, the, yeah, the car reveal period. And the reason I, um, <clears throat> the reason I, didn't do any videos really over the car reveal period is because when I went to record with Nib the Ferrari car reveal video, my microphone was coming through so loud that it basically sounded like, you know, a, an aeroplane in terms of how loud or, you know, a V12 F1 car, you know, to put it in a better or a more appropriate sense, considering this is supposed to be an F1 channel. That's how loud it was. Basically, the microphone was broken. And I was just like, again, another thing goes wrong. What an absolute fucking terrible thing. Just kill me now. And then I took a break for, what, a week? Then I came back to doing it. You know, did the car reveals all in one stream. Then I did the testing period. And at the same time, socially, I thought my life was also going a, a, a slight bit better as well. Still, you know, had the same concerns, still had no real confidence at all, motivation, but things were going slightly better. So things were looking more so on the up than it was, you know, looking, you know, in the middle of January, where in the middle of January, I felt as though I was dead whilst being alive. That's how bad I felt. And then... We got to when the channel got terminated, which was on the 20, what, 7th of February, I think it was, or 26th of February, something like that. Now, the reason it hit me so hard, and also you'll notice it hit me so hard because I, I have deleted my personal Twitter and personal Facebook accounts because I just don't want to bother with social media anymore. The reason I have kept the Discord server up <clears throat> is because... It is not for me, the Discord. It's for you guys, you being the people that use it. It's not for me. I'm just the guy who maintains it, so I'm not going to be deleting that even if I don't ever upload a video again. But the reason it hit me so hard was not just because I've worked so hard on it, i put so many videos out, you know, blood, sweat, and tears, all of that. It's because my channel... And I guess the Six Aside Football to a degree as well, but mostly my channel was an escape from how shit my life is and how socially terrible my life is. So when that was took away from me, like, you know, like in it, like a click of the fingers, it was like a knockout blow to me. Absolute knockout blow. I, I had no idea what to do. I just, I couldn't even speak. It was that bad i couldn't even speak and that day i felt absolutely terrible and then i you know later that night deleted my twitter and facebook or i think i deleted my facebook the next day actually in the afternoon and the chaser hdf1 facebook page by the way is still up i'm talking about my personal facebook um in case there's any you know of my real life friends listening but yeah i just decided fuck it you know, I'm done. And I honestly didn't think I would get the channel back. And it is, I guess, kind of a kind of a good thing that it's back. But I don't feel any sense of elation that it's back. Because, again, it was the feeling of it getting took away and then not having it for two weeks. Again, because it was an escape from how shit my life is. Was You know, the feeling of that was so bad. It just, you know, it didn't when the channel came back it didn't really feel like a good thing at all um and at the moment my life is in terms of the way i feel it's absolutely fucking terrible ever since the channel's been took away even with the channel coming back i i have again no confidence no motivation no drive no fucking nothing i just want 
my life to end, basically. Again, I'm not going to self-harm, but, you know, if I was to catch this virus and die, I wouldn't exactly be fucking sad. Because that's how shit my life has been, not only just for the last few months, but mostly for the last 10 years. And again, I'm not going to get into most of the stuff in between because it's mostly too personal, but also it's a very fucking long story. Um, and there's also been financial troubles I've had in the last few months, which I'm not going to get into, but it has not helped at all um, in terms of my mental health and the mental health of people closest to me. But yeah, just, you know, since my channel's been took away, which was like, again, the knockout blow, the last possible thing that could go wrong went wrong. I've been absolutely awful in terms of my mental health. I can barely get out of bed. I've had certain days where I've been in bed for two full days. I can barely open my eyes, you know, to get up. I just have no... And you guys know what I mean, that drive to get up and do... So I've just got none of it. I have none of it anymore. I've just completely given up on life. And that's why I'm in my current, you know, predicament because of that. Um, and that's why I won't be doing any videos for at least a bit of time. Because, I mean, again, there is no races to cover, nothing to talk about. But I have no drive or motivation or confidence to do fucking anything. Never mind you know, um, upload a video. I mean, I can barely go for a run and be confident doing that. So I'm not sure how I'll be confident doing anything socially or anything when it comes to my channel. But yeah, that's my current predicament. And, you know, if you guys feel the same way, then hopefully this helps you, I guess. You know, to know that you're not the only person out there who has these thoughts or feelings or whatever. But um, I guess to say for anyone listening, if you're either a real life, if you know me in real life, your real life friend, then if you want to contact me about this, then you know where to find me in real life, if you know what I mean. But if you want to do it on the internet, then... Make sure to create a Discord account and join my Discord server. There's a link below in the description. And if you're, I guess, an internet friend or a person who knows me well on the internet, then contact me on Discord if you want to talk about this further. But yeah, that's my current situation. I am currently dealing with absolutely horrible, deep levels of depression to the point where... If one more bad thing goes wrong, or one more thing goes wrong rather, I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do. That's how bad it is for me at the moment, and I don't see it getting any better dramatically. I hope it does get better, but the last few months have just been terrible, absolutely terrible. And again, most of the last few years have been mostly not good. And again, I don't see it really getting any better, but... Again, if you want to contact me, then do it there. Also, if you don't want to join Discord, or if you don't want to do it on Discord, um, if you want to contact me on email, then it is chazrhdf1 at gmail.com. That's my email address. If you want to send an email about this, you know, what I've talked about, then send it there, and I'll at least read it. Can't guarantee I'll respond you know, every time or most of the time, but I will at least read the email if you do send an email. But I guess that's it for this video. Um, and by the way, sorry about, you know, the black screen, but there was nothing, you know, what is there for me to put on screen right now? There is absolutely nothing relevant to put on screen. And I think, honestly, what I'm saying is much more important than what you're going to see in this video. But, um, you know, if this is the last video I ever make, then I guess sadly you know why. Um, but if I do come back to this, then it's because I have improved my life and I have motivation and confidence again to do this. This being something that, of course, I enjoyed and, you know, I hope I can enjoy again doing in the future. But, yeah, I guess that's 
it for this video and um thanks for your time for listening to this if you have listened the whole way through and again if you want to contact me then discord email and if you know me in real life then you can you know find me in real life and you know what i mean by that and um yeah i'll hopefully i guess talk to you guys soon